llevas el flores hoy. No te tienes que llevar. No fuiste. ¿Por qué? Permiso para Ni lo creo. Y ella tuite a Ah, no, ella tuite que no fue en Ya por eso. Souvenirin. Ehir. Hi everybody, good evening. Thank you so much for joining. Great to have you guys. How are you doing? Happy Thursday. Hi Ricardo, good evening. Hey. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi Arnoldo, good evening. How are you? Thank you for having you. Um, Gaby, hello. Thanks for joining. Uh, Imelda, how are you doing? Imelda, I'm sorry. I read your text but creo que no se lo contesté, but, but I got it, I got the audio. So thank you so much for that. How are you guys? How is your Thursday going? Is everything okay? Everything good? Ready for the Every, weekend? Everything is excellent, teacher, because oh. today it was the last day of the month. Oh, was it? Today is the 30th. Oh, okay. Yes, teacher. Oh, okay. So pay <laughs> Finally, no, this month has been pretty short. I think that yeah. June, June has been really short. I don't know why I got that feeling. All right, guys. So thanks a lot for joining. It's super nice to see you. And, uh, and thank you for having, you know, and taking the time uh, to be with us. Um, yesterday, we had a little activity. So yesterday, we were talking a little bit about um uh, some like connectors we were working a little with some vocabulary and i asked you to um, send me an audio of the activity but some of you mentioned that you would like to have like more opportunities to practice so um we are going to do it live you know in that case but um hi maurice good evening good evening teacher Okay, thank you, Gavin. no problem. That's okay. Thank you so much for that. All right. So guys, we have a couple of activities uh, for today. We are going to review uh, some vocabulary, right? We are going to review also uh, some connectors to add ideas, and we are going to practice um, speaking as much as possible. So let me get started here with the next activity. And uh, I have five pictures here. Oh, oh, thank you, Arnoldo. I'm sorry about it. Okay. 
So uh, guys, I got here like a knife. I have a watermelon. I have a broken pen. I have um, wait, uh, some coffee beans or like a cup. Hi, Judy, good evening. And I also have a person uh, sleeping there. Hi, good so, evening. Hello, me. It's great to have you. So take a look. Um, what we are going to do, guys, is the following. Uh, imagine you go to a store, imagine you go to a place and you are looking for one of these um, items, right? Maybe the knife, maybe the watermelon, maybe the coffee beans, I don't know. So uh, what we gotta do guys is tell me like the reason, right? Why you need that item. So you can use expressions like I'm looking for, I need, or I would like to buy, but tell me why. Uh, so for example, but be creative, you know, like, um, I don't know, I'm looking for a knife because, um, I don't know, I, I know that we normally use it for cutting objects, for chopping vegetables and fruit, but try to think about other uses of these um, items. So guys, can I have like some examples here? So pretty much I need you to invent. I need you to make up some ideas. Um, so let's get started. Thank you, Enrique. Okay. So let's go with the knife. Um, let me see. Hi, Delmi. Good evening, Francisco. Great to have you. Thank you for joining. Hi, Andrea. Hello, Enrique. Thank you so much for joining as well. Okay. So Francisco, let's start with you. So using these expressions, um, I'm looking for, I need, or I would like to buy. Can you give us an example uh, with the knife? Uh, why do you need a knife? So be like super creative. Super creative. Mm -hmm. So, it can Sorry. be, any, no worries, no worries. It can be any item, right? So here we have a knife. Um, we have like a watermelon. Don't worry, take your call, that's okay. So guys, uh, do you have any example? Can you pick up like a picture and give us some I crazy need a ideas? I buy, uh -huh. need a buy coffee. Okay, so you need a knife because? Because. I coffee. Mm, but it doesn't really make sense. Necesita el cuchillo, so you need to buy a knife because. Because. Uh -huh. because. Why? Por qué necesita el cuchillo? Why do you need a knife? Para partir la sandía. Ay, pero me hice el café, so. Okay. Ah, no, 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 perdón, perdón, perdón. The watermelon, so to cut off the watermelon. Ah, no. Okay. Necesito okay. cup, cup. I need a knife. So I need a knife. Uh -huh. need okay. a knife. Okay, so you need a knife. All right, that would be this one. Guys, can you make up some crazy sentences with these pictures? Just tell me, give us some. I like to buy pineapple to clean my gallbladder. Gut Oh, okay. Uh, so look at pineapple no esta cala. Pineapple is not in the picture. Uh, I don't know if you mean probably the water. Only, only these pictures. Yes, only these pictures. Yes, yes, yes. Guys, can you make up like some of them? So I'm looking for, I need, and I would like to buy. Uh, you can use this expression on top and give us some crazy. I need a coffee. Uh-huh. Because... Because I like. Uh, okay, but a, a little more. <laughs> so give us more, give us more. That's a nice one. Belen, yes. It's necessary. it's necessary for me. Oh, okay. Because, uh, yeah, it's necessary. Okay. Just willing. What do you have? I need to sleep more often. Why? Because, uh, I really like it and I enjoyed it. And I was really happy if I have, if I uh, found a work, then they have to pay me for a sleep. 
<laughs> that would be a, like a very nice job, right? Okay. But so really they... exists, teacher. Yes. Uh, uh, but it's not here in the country. Mm, no. It's like something like, uh, no sé cómo se dice probar in English. A tester, yes. A taster of beds. Yes. That was something so Definitely, <laughs> yes. Hi, Angelica. Yeah, that would be amazing, you know. So to get money just for sleeping. <laughs> okay, right. can you give us more sentences, guys? Maurice, uh, Helen, uh, Imelda, what do you have? Andrea, what do you have? Take a look at the pictures. <laughs> um, tell us, uh, like, you're looking for, you need, or you would like to buy. Uh, give us the reason, right? But guys, be creative. No como lo obvio, but be creative. Yes, Mauricio, tell us. I am, I don't would like to buy a bed. I really need. So you like to my, buy a bed? Yes, because the that I have is broken. Oh, okay. So the one you got is broken. Okay. So I think that is necessary to get that one. Okay. Need nice. Try. Yes. Yes, miss. I need I need a pencil to write a letter to my niece. Oh, very nice. Okay, so you need a pencil to write a letter to your niece. Okay, nice, nice. Anybody else? Can you I need speak? a cup of coffee for the start a day. Okay. Because coffee is life. Oh, even poetic, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that was even boring. That was a good word. Okay, anybody else, guys? Can you think of other ideas here? Uh, let me see who else is I the I do like I do like I uh, like coffee. Mm -hmm. Can you repeat that, please? Please. Okay, can you repeat? Puede repetirlo. Can you repeat it? I would I like to like, buy. I would I like, like to buy. I to buy coffee. Okay, because. Because. Mm -hmm. De mi no razón. Oh. Give me a reason. So I would I like coffee. to buy coffee because. Ya because. dijeron que les gusta. Ya dijeron que lo necesitan. So think about all the reasons. Necesito so, coffee. Ya, ya lo dijeron. Okay. If I don't, como digo, tomar? Drink. If I don't drink, I have a headache. Oh, yes. Welcome to the 30s. <laughs> so, guys, yeah, that, that is for sure. Después de los 30 años, that happens to, like, all of us, right? Uh, so, if you don't drink coffee, uh, you have a terrible headache. All right. Nice, guys. Very, very cool. That was that actually nice. very creative. Mauricio? That is not nice. That is not nice. I didn't get that. Okay, okay, so let me know. I, I think I didn't get that part. Okay, guys, uh, yesterday we were working a little bit with um, some expressions, like in addition, we were talking a little bit about furthermore. Um, today we have this because to give reasons. So we are going to work a little bit with some of these connectors, all right? So uh, first of all, I'm going to give you a, like three minutes. I want you to make all the sentences you can. You gave me some, okay, but I, I need to listen to the rest of you guys. Um, so using the expressions that you have on top, like I am looking forward, I need, or I would like to buy, I want you to come up with one sentence using because. So I need a reason. Um, so for example, I need to uh, buy watermelon because, I don't know guys, I am on a diet and, <laughs> and I, uh, or because I don't want to cook. So uh, think about, 
think about like some reason why you need some of these items. So I'm looking for I need or I would like to buy. And let's try to use because, all right? Try to give us a reason, guys. I give you only three minutes. De las que puedan. Only with those images. I'm sorry? Only with those images. Yes, only with the five pictures you have right here. Yes, yes, yes. Only with the five pictures, guys. Let's try to use because. So give us some reasons. I need by my long. I don't want food. Do I cook coffee? Already, so let's try to write to Alas que podamos, right? As many as you can. Uh, you I have one. one more minute. What you mean? Okay, I'll give you some more seconds. Okay, guys, so do you have, uh, can, can you give us your sentences? Yes, teach. Amazing, guys. Okay, what do you have? What do you have? Let me listen to you. Um, well, my first one is, um, I'm looking for a new pillow because my, it doesn't work. Oh. I, I woke up very tired in the morning. Okay, so I'm looking for a new pillow because mine doesn't work. Okay, very nice. And, this, mm -hmm. and the second one, uh, maybe could be I. I need to buy a new pencil because mine it's broken, uh, for um, for so much drowning. Oh, okay. So you were drawing and it got broken. Okay, very nice. Nice guys. What do you have? Hi, Kenya. Good evening, Iris. Hello. What do you have, girls or the boys? I had to mm -hmm. buy a box of pencil because my son lose one every week in the school. Oh, that's a really good one. Is that for real? So your son loses yeah. the pencils? Yes. Oh, that's sad. Okay. <laughs> or you have to like write the, na the name, right? On I, each pencil. Yes, uh, Ricardo? I'm looking for. I'm looking for. Uh -huh. I'm looking for. I bet you. So, que está buscando? I'm looking for. So for. <laughs> no worries, escribe la, write it down and then you give us your example. Uh, guys, what about the rest? What do you have? Francisco, give us some. What do you have? Just tell me, tell us. 
I need to buy a new knee because I lost the one I had. No, Misa, how did you lose it? <laughs> okay, so you need to buy a new knife. All right, nice. Anything else, guys? Somebody else, mm, what do you have? Chaplain. I need to sleep right now because I had to work all the night. Is that for real, Imelda? I'm looking for a coffee because I couldn't take breakfast. No, it's just an example. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm looking for coffee because I couldn't take breakfast. Okay. Yeah, if you are in the 30s, 40s, uh, I need coffee. Mm -hmm. I see, teacher. Ah, perfect. What do you have, Ricardo? I love a per per I am looking for. I look for mm -hmm. chef. I am looking for dormir, chef. Sleep. Sleep. Okay, but I'm looking for es como estoy buscando algo. So dormir. like dormir. Uh -huh. Ah no. So no, probably no. not. Probably I no, need no to sleep. Mm -hmm. No uh, worries. No I'll... worries. Es Escríbelo again. So write it just one more time. No problem. Uh, Francisco uh, yes. says I need to buy a knife to cut meat in the kitchen. Okay, very nice. Very good, Francisco, no worries. Just be careful with the spelling for me, right? But that was a very good example. Um, anybody else, guys? Uh, Andrea, what do you have? Hi, Margarita, good evening. What do you have, Andrea? Miss, how do you say energía? Energía, but energía electrica, energía de no. usted. Física. <laughs> so uh -huh. kind of energy, <laughs> just, uh, just energy. Okay. Okay, I'm looking for a big cup of coffee because I need more energy. Oh, okay, okay. I need to go to sleep right now because I, I'm very tired. Oh, okay. I'm looking for a new pencil because this is broke. And oh. I'm looking for a knife because I have a cut and lemon. Oh, okay, okay. Those are very nice examples. I need to, uh, to buy because needs a bit to die to die a year a cold coffee okay uh, uh, Ricardo, uh, can you repeat it i need to buy because why go um i need what to buy melon. what do you like okay okay well, hold on a second so you said i need to buy which you do why I need to buy, necesito comprar, I need to buy. I need to buy. Uh-huh. What? Serve, serve, electric. Uh, ¿Cuál es su oración? What is your sentence? I need to buy. Uh, energy. Okay. Energy. Okay, in Spanish, ¿cómo sería la idea? What would be the idea? Why you do like? Yo quisiera comprar este equipo de electricidad mm -hmm. para, para arreglar la, la electricidad de la casa. Okay, okay, but tienen ah. que estar relacionadas con las pictures. They have to be related uh, con las cinco fotos que tenemos acá. Okay, so oh. Oh. that sounds like a good one, but probably in a different context. So make it up, That's right? Awesome. Make it up. Tiene que estar relacionada con esas de acá, no worries. Okay, guys. Um, so Margarita, do you have any example for us? Judy, do you have anything for us? Uh, Angelica? Iris, Kenya, do you have any example? Helen? Yes, should I have a, a, another? Yes, go, miss. Um, for example, um, I would like to buy a new knife because my it doesn't work and I had to prepare the dinner on Christmas. Mm, okay, very nice. So my knife doesn't work anymore. Okay, very good. There we go. Okay, guys, I'm asking you to give a reason because for the next activity, we need to put everything into practice. So give me just a moment. Let me show you the next thingy. Okay. Um, guys, I think that you are familiar with some of these products, okay? 
And what we will do is actually use some of these expressions, some of these ideas. So we are going to use because, because we need to give reasons, right? Uh, yesterday, guys, se recuerdan what we were checking to add ideas. Do you remember the expression? I'm sorry. Okay. So yesterday, uh, we kind of checked a little bit of Anne. We checked a little bit of also, um, just a little, but a little bit of in addition to that, we, we, we are going to practice the grammatical aspect for in addition. And we are going to also practice the expression furthermore, as well as however, a little bit more, okay? So what I want you to do guys, to get us started, I have here some of the most common products that we have consumed. So the activity says, describe the product. Uh, what cell phone is this? Do you have any idea? Yes. What is the cell phone, guys? Have you seen it? Pebble, Pebble. Pebble. A smartphone. smartphone. Like a Samsung. That is a Samsung, yes. What um, line or what brand is it? A. Thank you, no. S O. No, no, it says it's A, like A52. Um, actually, it is Samsung S21 uh, Plus and 22. So mm -hmm. those are like the latest cell phones. Um, the other one we have is um, this one. So hand sanitizer, right? Um, so also we have a pan, okay, a non-stick pot wok or a pan, yeah. Well, it looks to me like a frying pan, but it's a wok. And finito, guys, do you like finito? Emilio, um, como te dice intolerante? No, oh, really. so you're milk intolerant, okay. Yes. Okay, intolerant a la, sorry a la about la that. Toxa. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Selective Only coffee. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Okay. When okay. I, when I discovered the ready to milk, I married with that. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, guys. So we're going to get started describing some of these products, but I'm going to give you only 30 seconds, okay, to go for each of them. Give me just a moment. Hold on, guys. Give me just a moment. Oh, okay. Uh, Guys, uh, just an FYI, I don't know if Carlos is here. I don't think so. Give me just a moment. No, he's not here. Uh, guys, uh, Carlos' mom passed away. So in case you want to like send a text, you know, or show some support to Carlos, so you are free to do so. Um, I, I'm sorry, he just notified, um, he just notified me and, uh, yeah, so that's the reason why he's not here. All right. So, um, leaving that away, um, we are going to do guys the following activity and, uh, I'm going to give you only 30 seconds, uh, to complete it. So it gotta be like super, super fast. Um, what are we going to do? We are going to get started with the cell phone, all right? We are going to get started uh, with this one we have right here. Guys, you have 30 seconds to write on your notebook any word that comes to your mind to describe this cell phone. Si lo conocen, it's okay. If you don't know it, it is okay. There is no problem with that. So guys, you have only 30 seconds, you got only 30 seconds to describe the cell phone. Like 
¿Cómo lo describirían? What words would you use to describe it? Can you write them on your notebook, please? Like super quick. It's gonna be 30 second activity, super fast. Um, don't use your dictionary. You are not gonna need it right now. Just try to think um, about some of the characteristics, some of the features and write them like super quick. We don't need sentences. We don't need a subject verb complement, no only the words to describe this specific cell phone. Are you ready, guys? Is everybody ready? Yes, teacher. Thank you for the confirmation. Okay. Do you have your notebook ready? Your pencil, pen ready? Yes? Okay, I hope so. Guys, so 30 seconds start uh, now. It's only 30 seconds, super quick. Write them in your notebook, please. Three, two, one. And time's over. Okay, guys, time is over. Can you give us some words to describe the cell phones, please? Um, maybe it's, um, well, maybe that's not only a word, uh, have a good uh, battery in duration. Okay, so good battery. Mm -hmm. What else, guys? It's the best Android phone and the competitor for Apple. Oh, okay, okay, nice. What else? That's a high resolution camera. High resolution camera, very good. What else? From this a cell phone of first generation. First generation phone, okay. Yes. The covers are very nice. Okay, nice colors. What else? Describe it, guys. Anything else? It's a bigger cell phone. Okay, it's big. What else? The system is very fast. Okay, fast system, very nice. What else? Have a, a, a memory, have a lot of memory. Okay, so good memory, okay, or good, uh, we can use the word storage. storage so, yes. Or big storage or large storage. storage. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else, guys? Uh, you can play a very uh, heavy games in that kind of cell phone. Mm, okay, so I think somebody mentioned good operating system. Okay, I think we can ask, we ask keep or the, yeah we, we can keep it i think that sounds good okay guys let's move to the next one 30 seconds like write as many words as possible to describe the following and this is a milk right especially this one pinitos if you have ever tasted this kind of milk um so you have like some ideas about it if you haven't no worries so milk in general 30 seconds go guys 30 seconds. Yes, Don't write me. sentences, yes, only yes, write me. words, please. Yes, milk. Yes, you. milk. Don't write sentences, only words. Okay, guys, time is over. Oh my God. Okay, so what do you have for milk? It's easy to prepare. Easy to prepare. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, nice. Yes, okay, nice. easy to prepare. <laughs> wow, you're thinking the same thing. Okay, so easy to prepare. What else? Have a vitamin. Vitamins, okay. Yes, tell me. Um, I like Nito meal because that's what I use to give my son when he was two years old. Furthermore, I prefer it because it's the cheap, cheapest. Wow. I also like the offers they have. 
Wow, that was a beautiful description. That is super I, I nice. Like, uh -huh. I like this milk because it remind remind it reminds remind uh -huh. it reminds uh, me uh -huh. of my chill childhood. Oh, very nice. I like that word. So it reminds me. Very nice. Okay, guys, I'm going to uh, stay. I'm going to steal a couple of minutes of your time to take a look at these two important words. It reminds me and I remember. Okay, remind and remember so we can use them both ways. Francisco says the milk, this pinito milk, reminds me right so that that means brings memories back to me all right um so for example when you see jacks so jacks they remind you right of your childhood first second grade your school friends so it's like remember but it's in a in we use it in a different way remember that if i say um i remember when i was young and I, it says it reminds me, so it has a little bit of different meaning, right? So pinito milk reminds me, okay, of my childhood. Reminds me uh, a little of my childhood, so I'm going to use of my childhood. Okay, or like it brings memories back to me. Okay, nice. Thank you. Very good example, Francisco. Super nice. Guys, what else do you have? What do you have for Pinito? What expressions do you have? It's a good meal and to help. Okay, so it's good, it's healthy, all right? It has vitamins, okay, what else? Had different taste. Oh, really? Okay, it has different flavors, like... like Maybe flavors, it's like the lactose or the oh, cream. I don't okay. know how they, they call it. Okay, the well... Price. Uh -huh. The price, what happens the with the price? The price is very access, accessible. Ah, very nice, guys. How do you say it? accessible? I think I mentioned one word Easy before. Mm, there is another word. Not cheap, no expensive. That is called, do you remember? AFF? You forgot it. <laughs> Okay, that is affordable, all right? So uh, affordable. affordable, yes. Affordable. Not cheap, no expensive, affordable, okay? So right in the middle. Is afford exactly, right in the middle. So this is affordable, very nice. Anything else? I like it. Have a lot of uh, vitamins. Mm -hmm. Has vitamins, yes. Okay, very nice. I like it, very, very good. Okay, guys, nice. So we are just making vocabulary building here. Let's go with the next one. So we are going to move on with the next. This is a 30 second exercise. Remember just adjectives, give us general uh, words. Later we can describe the product. So I just need the adjectives right now. Pot guys, or a uh, pot walk, that is the name. One of the characteristics is non-stick, right? that you can put eggs, you can put anything, and it doesn't stick. So you don't need to, you know, scrub it. <laughs> so it doesn't stick. 30 seconds, are you ready? Yes. One, two, three, go guys, go, go, go. All the characteristics you can write, write them on your notebook, write them guys. Yes. It's functional and will be useful. And, uh... Time is over. <laughs> okay, guys, time is over. What words do you have for the pot? What do you maybe, have? Maybe, I don't know what is the correct word, teacher, multi you useful or functional como multiusos i don't know what is what was the word uh you can use functional yeah i think that that would work yeah that would work multi-use 
he said that. I think you can use multi-use pot. Let me just make sure. Uh, Multi-pot, no. Multi Multitask? No. no. Mm -hmm. but, but for specific objects, I'm not sure. Let me just make sure. Can Let multitask? Me Maybe it's for, for us, right? Mm, for for people, people, yes, but for objects, I'm not sure. Multi multitasking. Mm, no, I don't think so. Rissalon pot pan. But you can use it in a different situations when you're okay. cooking. <laughs> no, but you know, I, I think that uh, Andrea may be right. I think that, yeah, we can use that way. Multitasking. It, but, it but I'm going to read a little bit about it and I'm going to let you know tomorrow because I'm not completely sure and I don't want to lie to you. <laughs> so I, I, I will investigate better. Uh, but okay, let's say a, a functional. So multifunctional that would be. What else do you have for the pot? Uh, it is the thing that I take her to move in my kitchen because I love it. Do you love cooking? Uh, the cook words. Ah, okay, okay, all right. I love cooking, Maybe. yeah. If you don't have a good word, that doesn't work. Well, yeah, that's a good it's point. Yes, you are definitely right about it. I think I heard Judy too. Judy, tell us. Maybe not add the food. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you mean? No adhere la comida? Oh, uh, nonstick, nonstick. Non Mm -hmm. Non-stick, yeah. Que no se pega, right? So non-stick. Mm -hmm. okay. Duradera, teacher. How do you say that? Oh, guys, how do you say duradera? I think we checked it last week or this week. I'm not sure. Do you remember? That would be long-lasting. So that can be a long-lasting long. uh, pot. Anything else? Is it to clean? Easy to clean because it is non-stick. Exactly. That sounds good. Only like, <laughs> and that's easy. Uh -huh. What is it? You said to keep it, like is, guardar. Is it to, uh, yeah, is it to keep? Maybe it's not keep the, the verb. I don't know how to say, eh, como preservar, guardar. O sea, store. Como que store, okay. Yeah, okay. you can use stored. Maybe it's to, to store. store. Yeah. yeah, that that will work. Okay. All right, guys. And let's go for the last one. Um, so we have this hand sanitizer, right? So this is what we normally call alcohol gel, but in English, we will call it hand sanitizer. So um, I don't know if you have tried different hand sanitizers. Some of them are super sticky, right? So you put them in your hand and it's like, eh, right? So they are sticky. Some of them have a very nice smell, et cetera. So what are some of the characteristics of the hand uh, sanitizers you use, guys? Um, mm -mm, give me just a moment. I'm going to give you the last 30 seconds and we go with the description. Are you ready? So 30 seconds, guys. All the characteristics you can write for hand sanitizer. Let's do it. 30 seconds. Hi, Rafael. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, guys. And time is over. Okay, guys, so hand sanitizers. What were you able to write? Uh, uh, sorry. Before, uh, sorry. Before the pandemic, a uh, uh, few person uses that. But right now, mm -hmm. uh, Every person, I guess, or uses in, in her house. Yeah, right. It's okay. Super common. 
It's common. Okay, that's a very nice word. So it's common. What else? Or useful. What else? What do you have? Easy to, to carry. Yeah, so easy to carry. Yes. What else? Desinfect. And actually, the best selling product. Oh, best. Okay, that's really good to hear. I didn't know. Okay, yeah, right. If you remember before the quarantine, there was no sanitizer. So there was, it was super expensive. Do you remember? The bottle yes. was like four or five dollars. Five like, dollars, yes. Yeah, okay. Like you buy it for seven dollars. Seven dollars. Yes. Wow. I, I just even, bought even in April, teacher, in April, 30 dollars. The, the, oh yeah, the face mask. The face, the face mask. Dollars. They were super expensive. Hand sanitizers were expensive. That's right. Okay, so I was like, no, I prefer to wash my hands. <laughs> okay, uh, but now I think it's not that common. Doesn't dry it out. Oh, very nice. So I'll hand sanitizer doesn't dry out your hands. Okay. Okay. Doesn't um, a manchar teacher? How do you say stain? Doesn't so we stain can your use clothes. the word stain. Mm -hmm. Doesn't stain your clothes. All right. Okay, guys. Now, what I want you to do is the following. Uh, we have a couple of ideas now of different products. I'm going to give you like five minutes, and I want you to select only one product. All right. Select one from all of these cell phone, pinito, uh, the pot, or the hand sanitizer. Select one product, guys. And I want you to write five sentences talking about that specific product. Select one product only, all right? Uh, and write five sentences. So write five sentences about that same product. So I'm going to give you like five minutes, okay? You can use your dictionaries now, but if you can make it without Google Translator, guys, that would be perfect. That would be beautiful. So five sentences. For example, imagine that I have Pinito and you say uh, that Pinito um, reminds me uh, of my childhood. So I already got one sentence here. Give me more ideas, guys. What else can I say about Pinito? Uh, Pinito has a lot of vitamins and nutrients. Uh, okay, what else? Give me more. I have two sentences with Pinito. Okay. Can you give me more uh, sentences, more ideas uh, about Pinito, about the milk? Pinito can, can be useful for cake? children, for or all the family, or oh. for all the elders. Okay, so um, it can Bean. be. Uh, 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 it Pencil? is for. Mm -hmm. It Pinito can be the, uh, by children. I would say drunk, drunk by all the family members. Family yeah. members. And I think somebody said before about the prices. So it is affordable and uh, it is affordable and there are a lot of offers. A lot of offers, right? In the um, convenience stores. In the convenience stores. Okay, I have one, two, three, four. I have four guys. I need one more. Can you help me with one more? You, you can use to to do a milkshake. Oh, okay. So can be prepared with ice water and make it make a smoothie. Very nice. I it can be prepared. Uh, Oh, it can be used for smoothies. What else? Coffee with coffee. I prefer pinito milk in liquid presentation. Uh, okay, and it has different 
Oh, somebody said like flavors and presentations. Okay. Okay, very nice. Guys, I have five different sentences with Benito. What are we going to do? When you have the five sentences, we need to use now the words that we have on the side. We have because, we have and, we have also. Yesterday, we said that and and also are basic English. So today, vamos a enfocarnos en in addition, furthermore. ¿Por qué no however? Porque however es un contraste. That is a bad. And today, estamos hablando de cosas positivas. ¿Cómo voy a usar in addition and furthermore? Guys, in addition and furthermore, ambos significan y, ¿ok? What is the difference? Que la debo de utilizar con oraciones completas. Exactly the same I have done in here. For example, tengo acá, it can be used for smoothies with toffees and it has different flavors and presentations. Acá yo tengo un ad, and puedo venir y digo furthermore. Can I come and say furthermore? No, because furthermore lo uso para oraciones completas. I'm going to use it for full sentences, all right? So, ¿cómo lo voy a utilizar? Easy, I have one sentence, I have sentence number two, y voy a combinar, I'm going to combine both sentences. Pinito reminds me of my childhood, coma, furthermore, Coma, pinito has, pero no quiero repetirlo. I don't want to say pinito, pinito, pinito. I can say milk. I can say it. Pinito reminds me of my childhood. Furthermore, it has a lot of vitamins and nutrients. So, easy. Ya utilicé furthermore. I'm going to use it with full sentences. Algo bien interesante with furthermore is that we normally need a, a specific punctuation. The most common punctuation that we are going to use is semicolon, right? And then a comma. If you take a look, we have semicolon, furthermore, comma. Or some people use uh, comma, sorry, comma, furthermore, comma. So um, punctuation is important as well. Can I use in addition? Yes, I can use in addition too. Pinito reminds me of my childhood. In addition, it has a lot of vitamins. So I am going to use furthermore and in addition with full sentences. So two, ya se convirtieron en una. I have here, it can be drunk by all the members of the family. It is affordable and there are a lot of offers in the convenience stores. It can be used for the smoothies with coffee, Furthermore, dijimos que acá no, this is not possible because no es una oración completa, this is not a full sentence, it has a different flavors and presentations. But guys, I want to combine these two. ¿Cómo la combinarían? How would you combine it? How would you put it together? Can you help me guys? ¿Cómo ponemos acá in addition or further or furthermore? How would you put it there? Unamos las dos. Can you put it together? Hey, the founder man. Uh, also. ¿Cómo es que dijo que se llama la... semicolon? Eh, semicolon. That is called semicolon. Yes, yeah, semicolon. Semi... Semicolon. Colon. So semicolon is the punto coma, right? And we also have colon, uh, that is the, no el colon, <laughs> sino los dos puntos. So that is like the, the column, right? Semicolon and colon. Okay, guys. So how would you put it together? It is really easy. Using semicolon. Right? Using semicolon, exactly. Yeah, or coma, so whatever is fine. ¿Qué voy a hacer? Bien fácil, guys. I am, I'm going to delete this. I need semicolon. I'm going to use furthermore. And furthermore, ¿qué significa? What does it mean? Solo I, right? Pero qué diferencia, guys. How different it sounds, porque ya no es como una idea cortada, but it is affordable. And there are a lot of offers in the convenience stores. Furthermore, it can be used for smoothies with coffees and it has different flavors and presentations. 
¿Qué cambió? Actually, suena bien ordenado. It's very coherent, very organized. Y ya salté, guys, de nivel básico de inglés a nivel intermedio avanzado. So this word es pequeñita. It's a very small word. Pero me da un salto en cuestión de el nivel de inglés that I'm using. Questions, people. Doubts. Tell me. Sure. Yes. Cuando yo puse en el traductor Furthermore, me pone además. Uh -huh. Este me dice que es, que es y es. No, no comprendo muy bien. Um, the thing is that in Spanish, utilizamos y utilizamos además. Uh, we use in addition, we use furthermore. Utilizamos, let me, let me uh, put it here. Utilizamos all of these four expressions para agregar. So, in other okay. words, uh -huh, in other words, ellos les llamamos, we call them um, connectors, connectors of addition. Because... Eh, en realidad la traducción no, es la misma no es literal, para no ellos. Literal, Ajá, sí, no es literal. Ajá, okay. Remember that Google Translator mm -hmm. le va a mentir. <laughs> It is going to lie a lot. But si usted pone en, si usted pone also, in addition, en furthermore, todas ellas es como que tenga y o que tenga además. En otras palabras, todos estamos agregando información. We are adding information for all of them. Mm -hmm. okay. So that you. is the one. You are welcome. Guys, doubts, dudas de cómo utilizarlo. Do you have an equation here? Pregunten, people. <laughs> It worries me. Me preocupa que no pregunten. It worries me. Okay. So, if no questions, let's start working on them. Again, what, uh, obviously, la de pinito ya no, guys. So, don't copy my example. <laughs> what you have to do is select one product only. Why not? Write five sentences. And intentemos hacer menos, right? Utilizando furthermore, in addition, que son las que vamos a trabajar ahorita. So furthermore and in addition. Remember, no lo voy a utilizar con ideas nada más de y, sino con una oración completa. So I have, Pinito reminds me of my childhood. Oración uno. Uh, it has a lot of vitamins and nutrients. Oración dos. And I put it together using in addition. Um, is that okay? Is that clear? Yes, teacher, clear. Perfect, guys. So let's go for it. So one product, five sentences, e intentemos agregarle in addition. Let's try to add furthermore. And then vamos a practicarla. We're going to practice that. I'll give you five minutes, guys. Five minutes. Teacher, I can see the pictures and I don't remember. <laughs> What is the ocean? No worries, no worries. Just let me uh, write this in the chat um, and uh, to eliminate it so you can you can have better um, visibility. Is that better? Can you see them now? Thank you, teacher. Okay, no problem. I'm going to leave the example in the chat in case you want to go back.
Two more minutes, guys. Finish teacher. Thank you for the confirmation. I'll give you one more minute, guys. I see that some of you are still taking notes. Give me just a moment. Se la mandé, teacher. Está bien así o me falta. Sí, 
Yes, I'm checking that one. Um, okay. Well, uh, Ricardo, comencemos con las cinco oraciones. Let's start with the five sentences. Creo que bueno. con, con los teléfonos suena bien. So Samsung phones have high quality technology. Um, acá hay dos oraciones. Samsung phone have high quality technology, punto. They have four digital cameras and accessories. So, ya tiene dos oraciones. Escríbame tres más. Write three more. Tres, mm -hmm. tres más. Yes. yes. Three more. Oh, I'm reading your sentences, Ricardo. Probably uh, funcionaría que sea del mismo tema. So we can make it on the same topic. Para que le sea más fácil. So it can be a little easier. Guys, uh, did you finish? Todos terminaron? Are you ready? Or would you like to get more time? Or to write Yeah, because I see you have written uh, the, the three different articles. So, la idea es que sea de solo uno. So, you can pick one, you can select one, and, and write your sentences on that specific article. Already. Oh, guys, is everybody ready? Morris is ready. Delmi, are you ready? Do you need more time? Angelica, are you ready? Kenya? Are you good? Ready. Ready? Margarita, are you good? Thank you uh, for the confirmation, Imelda. Okay, guys, very nice. So what we are going to do is I want everybody to participate, guys. So I really need you to uh, go into the following groups, um, give your description of the products to your classmates, compare, listen to the rest, try to get a full idea, you know, of what they are saying. And oh, give me one moment. Oh, da, 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 da. No. Just a moment. And, uh, okay, there we go. So guys, I'm going to give you five, 10 minutes so you can share with your classmates what you have written. If it is possible not to read it, but just to try to remember what you said, that would be even better. Guys, five, 10 minutes. Let's go to the groups, please. Share it and then we come back and I'll tell you what the next activity is. Let's go, guys.
Se supone. Hola. Yo casi las termino, las terminando estaba. Un solo producto entonces. Ajá. ¿Cuál había bueno. tomado usted? El alcohol. Ajá. Tenía una oración que decía, no sé si está bien, en addition, antiseptic for cleaning hands. Mm, yo creo que no, porque dijo que tenían que hacer dos oraciones y prácticamente en addition es como para unirlas. Mm. Tienen que ser dos oraciones Ay. completas. Uh, I'm yeah. sorry. Uh, can you repeat? Puede repetir lo que dijo antes. Can you like say it again, please? Um, ¿Quién yo o Helen? Uh, Helen es example. Lo que pasa es que no no le lo era escuchar la de fue el okay, example. Okay. Um, in addition, antiseptic for cleaning hands. In addition, antiseptic. Es antiséptico, no sé si así se dice. For cleaning your hands. Sí se puede, pero necesitamos hacerle una oración completa, as del me mentioned. So, ¿qué es lo que me falta para que sea una oración como tal? Me falta sujeto y me falta verbo. So, in, a deep, in addition, uh, a hand sanitizer is... Or in addition, it is. Solo necesito agregarle ese pedacito y si sí se puede, pero la oración tendría que ser ya como al final, you know, como para finalizar, like in addition. Mm -hmm. Okay. You can do it, pero como la oración, la última, you know, that you need to add. Mm -hmm. Okay. Solo agregamosle it is. And that sounds good. Mm, okay. Thank you. You go. <laughs> For me, in the cell phone, you can use like GPS. Like GPS. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's yes. a good. Yeah, it's kind of dangerous, but if you don't drive or you're drive, drive, sorry, uh, yeah, it's very useful. Yes, because I always use ways. Oh, okay. Um, I prefer Google Maps. Is that application only only say the directions? Yeah, yeah. Not necessarily. You have to see the cell phone. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, ways have that. And uh, it's like a GPS. For me, it's better uh, Google Maps, but I don't know. I like more. But In my case, when I drive, uh, I'm use Waze because I don't have a license. So <laughs> my Waze uh, give me an uh, give me um, avisos. Uh, I don't know. No recuerdo cómo se dice avisos. Notification. Uh, warning. Warning. Yeah, exactly. The warning. A ways give a uh, gave gave it to me warning about the police. Police, <laughs> yes. In my case, I prefer ways too because I think it's more dynamic than Google Maps. But in my case, I use it in mute because I prefer more friendly. Sorry. More friendly. Yes. Yes. Is uh, the um, ¿Cómo se dice la plataforma? I don't Como amigable. Platform. Yeah, I think platform is, platform, is more yeah. friendly. But in my case, I use it in mute. I only watch the instruction. I, I, I don't even think about that, but maybe you can have For right. me, that is dangerous. Yeah, it is dangerous. But for example, um, 
if we're talking about friendly, that it's maybe the reason that I don't like Waze. Because for me, uh, Google Maps, it's better because it doesn't have, it's a very simple platform. And maybe that's my, uh, my kind of. Así de todo bien, pero. <laughs> sí, todo lo pero. ¿Qué podría poner entonces? Uh, in no, no, no use, however. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo dijo que era esa parte donde llevaba el pero? Um, eh, you can travel long distances without worrying about charging. However, you should, you should always care, carry your charge. Carry a charge. Uh -huh. uh -huh. yes. However. Quizás sí fue el, 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 el pero malo. <laughs> Ajá, porque la verdad se está contradiciendo. Uh -huh. um, I can you say hi? Can you say hi. the whole thing, please? Can, can you read it again? Okay. I like the smartphone with high resolution camera because I like the colors. Also, the new generation of phones has less long battery. Furthermore, you can travel long distances without worrying about charging. However, you should always carry your charge. I like it. Yeah, but the however, probably, cambiamos however, let's change however for nonetheless. So nonetheless is como... Um, um, Es como un however, pero no es however. <laughs> Nonetheless, es como, pero aún, you know, like, you can hey, go well, to wait. different places without the, uh, without charging battery. Nonetheless, pero es como, no es una mala idea, so it is not a bad idea to take your, char your, your charger with you. I uh -huh. like it. Very nice description. <laughs> Sounds amazing. Sounds really good. Sí. Entonces sería no nonetheless. No, no, nonetheless. Nonetheless. Mm -hmm. nonetheless. Okay. Continue. No este, el, ahora leo yo el mío. Sería Samsung year per year launch a phone that surprised the world. Furthermore. It has a long life and years of updates. Samsung has a several models for every kind of people. Furthermore, you can't buy it in every, in every place practically. Samsung has the better screen in all of her models. Uh, so Samsung has like the best screen in all the models. That is the last sentence. Samsung phone, I have a dance in technology, technology and digital and professional camera. Uh, but, uh, okay, Ricardo, creo que le faltan todavía un par de ideas más, right? Uh, that sounds good. But I think that some more sentences are missing. Uh, Mauricio, coming back to your example, that was a very good one. Uh, solo que la última idea se queda como forever alone. <laughs> Entonces, para, para evitar eso, you yeah, know, yeah. y dar la idea que, like the hands. que ya es lo último, podemos agregar al final in addition. So in addition, ¿cuál es la última oración que dijo? What was the last sentence? Can you repeat, please? The bird is green. In all of her models. Mm -hmm. So, like, para dar la idea que estamos terminando, que vamos a agregar un poquito más, you can say in addition. In addition, Samsung has the best camera in all the models. Mm -hmm. 
That sounds amazing. Sounds a really good one. The yes. bird is screen because you say the bird's camera is a delay. The best a screen you said or the best camera? A screens. Oh, the best screen. The best camera. I don't know. Well, for me, Samsung has the best camera. <laughs> but the best screen sounds okay. All right. No, no, it has the models. It knows them in all the models has the bird screen. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know if you mean resolution. Probably the best resolution. Yes. Okay. If you yeah. compare the resolution of a Samsung with a other phone in the same price, you have the better resolution in a Samsung. Mm -hmm. All the model. Yeah, yeah, that will work. Yeah, so we can include that expression at the end, like in addition. Or finally, right? Cualquier de las dos sounds nice. Cool, cool. Guys, que profesionales suenan. <laughs> that sounds really professional, you know, y bien organizado las ideas. Very organized. Judy. Yeah, I didn't listen to her. Hi. <laughs> Hi. ¿Quién falta? Pero falta alguien más. Menedemo falta. Menedemo is missing, pero creo que le hacen falta. Eh... So, ya Menedemo, do you have more? Okay, ya me. Le ya le mandé, teacher. Samsung has four video camera memories and it has good sign -up. Okay, one, two, three. Three. Llevamos tres oraciones, Menedemo. Le faltan dos. <laughs> you are oh. still missing two. Otra vez, teacher. <laughs> no, 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 lleva tres. Lo está haciendo súper bien. You're doing a nice job. Ah, bueno. Todavía Entonces, nos otra faltan vez, dos más. Te You're te missing two more. Dos ideas siempre, más. So what else siempre de Samsung. Mm, siempre siempre del mismo. The same. Bye, okay. Bye. Hey, okay. Bye. Perfect, Judy. Go ahead. The Samsung cell phone has a wide market. Furthermore, the hair camera is high resolution. Uh, her system is easier to use. In addition, has many applications. It has a wide variety of colors. Oh, very nice. I like the way it sounds. Uh, yes, after in addition, agregamos it. So in addition, it. Oh, uh, así lo tengo. In addition, Ah, it has. Yes, it has. That's okay, perfect. Thank you. Um, creo que le escuché un her. Yes. Like Samsung, and then you mentioned her. Cambiamos el her, so we can change her for it. Because it's. estamos hablando de como de eso. Uh -huh. So it's. it's. Um, okay. So can you say it? Can you read like the, the first two sentences? Son dos her. Creo que escuché, ajá, I think I heard like some her. Can you start over? Voy a iniciar otra vez. Can you start over, please? Okay. Okay. Uh, the Samsung cell phone has a wide market. Mm -hmm. Furthermore, mm -hmm. its camera is high resolution. Mm -hmm. its, its system is easier to use. In addition, has many applications. It has a wide variety of colors. Oh, that sounds much better. That sounds really nice. Solo se me comió un it después de in addition. <laughs> That's the only thing. But sorry. that is super nice. No, don't be sorry. That is very nice. So in addition, it has a lot of variety of colors, I think you said. Thank you. Very nice. I like it. Guys, who is missing? Okay. Um, so Ricardo, Samsung has the best resolution of advanced technology and is in the market. Okay, the market and in cell phone stores and it is, and it is in the market. Furthermore, in addition, it is, mm, pero que no podemos utilizar. And, uh, okay. Okay, many uh, of let's start. Okay, sounds good. Creo que ahora sí ya tiene las cinco. All right. Now, Ricardo, pongamos las ideas juntas, put them together, y agregamosle furthermore, y agregamosle in addition, para que las okay. ideas no queden cortadas, right? Okay. 
Yes. Okay, so we can start with Samsung uh, phones. The rest has everybody participated, yes. Oh, listen to me. Ah, okay, perfect, yes. Mientras Ricardo finishes there, yes, please, go ahead. Okay, it's a first generation phone, have three cameras with a different resolution. The battery is long lasting, furthermore, it's a fast charge. The price is affordable. In addition, Samsung is a recognized brand in the world. I like that one. That sounds really nice. It caught my attention, guys. Those are like on the Samsung. Are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, suddenly we can open I like Samsung. <laughs> Andre is talking about Samsung Judy too. <laughs> Yeah, everybody <laughs> chose Samsung. Oh my god, that's you a very nice one. About Samsung too. That's a very nice You're description. And, and you know, it's really interesting because todos hablaron de Samsung, pero todos dijeron cosas diferentes de Samsung. So, very nice. Like, sounds really good. Uh, solamente haría un cambio en la parte de in addition. Lo dejaría ya solito, you know. So, I would just leave it alone. Um, Dígame, este, cu ¿Cuál es la, la, la que está mala para corregirla? No, no es tan mal. So they are not wrong, Menedemo. Están bien. Lo único que necesitamos hacer es conectarles ahora. Porque ah, yeah, al yeah, igual yeah, que yeah. como usted habla español, hablamos inglés, right? Yes, um, yes. So no digo, buenas noches, Menedemo, ¿cómo está? Eh, Good night. Ahora fui a, a trabajar. Después fui, no, no hablo así, no hablo portado, right? Si no intento conectar, la like, fui a trabajar, además me tocó hacer muchas cosas. Entonces, la idea es eso, you know, try to um, make it fluent. So, las ideas que usted tiene, las que ha escrito, that sounds good, solo nos falta agregarle conectores. Yeah? More. Mm -hmm. more. Farther more. more. Vamos a usar uh -huh. Farther More para conectar las ideas. Yes. Yes. Vaya, vamos. Let's do it. Thank you, teacher. Uh -huh. No problem. So let's do it, Menedemo. Tiene cinco ideas. Sounds good. Yes. Vaya, comience con la primera. Ok. Si se le hace más fácil, yo le recomendaría que las escriba, you know, write them down, póngale el father more para luego ya intentar decirlo. Es mucho más fácil at the very beginning. So you can give it la a try. La voy a pasar en el cuaderno y la voy a, y la voy a pasar así con, lo, con la frase esa. Yes, yo se lo recomendaría, es mucho más fácil. That's a little easier mm -hmm. y se le va a hacer mucho más fácil. That's going to be easier to speak. Okay, guys, very nice job. Let's go back to the uh, previous season. Give me just a moment here. And uh, let's go ahead and... Menedemo, quedamos pendiente. Menedemo, me debe una tarea también. <laughs> ah, <laughs> Do <sí> me <laughs> Teacher, le debo un video, ya me acordé. No le doy. Yeah, sorry, estoy en silencio. Uh, yeah, I know. No, it's not a video. Es un audio. Tiene que grabarse. You need to record it. Ah, mm -hmm. yes. No era video, entonces. No, 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 no. It's not Tenía a video. que repetir esa frase para... Exactly, exactly. Ah. You need to repeat it. Pero si me lo debe. You still owe me. <laughs> So, yes, love me. Yes, yes, yes. 
Okay, guys, very nice job. Thanks a lot for coming back. Uh, las descripciones que escuché were amazing. Very good use of furthermore. Very good use of in addition. Sounds really nice. Now, guys, let's go ahead and let's practice this super quick. Uh, guys, who has something different from Samsung? <laughs> Creo que ya escuché, like, almost Samsung. everybody <laughs> talking about Samsung. Do you have something different? Uh, no different. No different. You got the Very, same? Uh, so I think algo diferente, no. guys, that is not Samsung. Um, so do you have, for example, I don't know about the hand sanitizer. Did you talk Our about? Group. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Tell me, what do you have, Delmi? Uh, hand sanitizer. Very nice. What can you tell us about hand sanitizer? Okay. Hand sanitizer. Center. So, uh, Delmi's group. Uh, uh -huh. Ese, le quería mostrar la, la pantalla para que leyéramos, pero no puedo. Mm, no, ahorita no. Give me one moment. Uh, okay, can you try now? Uh, in my group. Our, uh, Rafa, Helen, Margarita, and I. It's called a hobby of BG. I start. Alcohol help is used to disinfect the hands. In addition, surface to be used can be cleaned. Other. The hand sanitizer removes making 99% percent. Percent, pardon? Yes, percent. Percent of batteries for the more remove the COVID-19. You, you can continue, Rafael. Okay. Serve as an emergency when there is not water, and it is antiseptic for cleaning hands. Alcohol gel is easy to use. Also, it can be purchased at any drugstore. Can be used. And by can be. Uh, <laughs> Can be yeah. used by children at school as well as be their parents at work. Oh, very nice. I like the description of alcohol gel. Super nice, guys. Um, I'm just going to include uh, in number two, sentence number two, uh, furthermore. Después de furthermore, nos falta el sujeto. So I would include furthermore, it. So, stop. so we just need the it. It removes okay. COVID-19 mm -hmm. or it eliminates or it fights COVID-19. Um, let me see. I like the other one. Oh, and in the fourth, alcohol uh, hail that will be hand sanitizer is easy to use. Uh, also, uh, also, si le podemos quitar las comas, we don't need the comas there. Lo usamos solamente con furthermore. Mm -hmm. So you don't need the commas. We can eliminate both. Uh, o puede dejar solo la primera. You can just leave the first and that is okay. Um, also, it can be purchased at any drugstore. Guys, I really like the description. Very nice writing. It sounds very professional. Okay. Guys, anybody else? Alguien tiene algo diferente? Do you have anything else? Uh, anything different? Pants? I wrote about the pot walk. Very nice. Oh, yes, please <laughs> tell me. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I, 
uh, well, uh, I wrote that the pot, the pot of pork has a stone cover because of that is long lasting. In addition, has a big size, so you can use it to prepare a big meal. Furthermore, uh, it's easy to clean. In addition, you can use less oil to cook. And furthermore, the handle has a cover that keep it cold. Oh, I like it. That sounds like a very nice description. Um, I would just, I think I would eliminate el último furthermore because it sounds a little repetitive. So just also you can say or one of the furthermores before, but that is a very beautiful description. I really <laughs> like the way you, you explained that one. Okay, guys, and now let's go on for one more activity. And let's do the following. I want you to stand up, okay? Guys, I need you to stand up. I'm going to give you 10 seconds. Oh, Angelica, I'm sorry about that. Guys, um, so please stand up, okay? Uh, you have 10 seconds. No, I'll give you 15 seconds. You got 15 seconds, guys. And I want you to pick up five products that you normally use, right? from the kitchen, makeup, uh, not your phone, you know. So go ahead, guys, and grab five products, and you're going to show them to the camera, and you're going to start speaking about it. So 15 seconds, go, guys. So stand up, please. 15 seconds. Levantense, guys. Stand up, stand up, go and pick up five products, five different products. It can be a cookie, it can be a candy, anything like food, it can be a deodorant, uh, or pídanle a alguien que se los tire, you know? <laughs> or you can ask somebody to throw it at you. So that sounds good. Sounds really good. Five products. Five seconds. Okay, guys, are we ready? Do you have the products at hand? Okay. Okay, so I'm going to do the next one. Yes, 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 yes. So, guys, do you have them handy? Do you have them handy? Do you have the five products? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect, perfect. Very nice. Uh, can Product. you please uh, show your products to the camera? Miss, whatever. Yes, anything, anything. Okay. Because we're going to talk about them. So <laughs> what do you have? <laughs> the thing is that entre más difícil, ah, okay, a calculator. Okay, what do you have, guys? Uh, Del me tiene filtro, I don't know what it is. Oh, nice. So you have saline solution. Okay. What do you have? Ooh, Andrea. <laughs> Why do you have wine? <laughs> and during classes, no, yes, kidding me. Uh, Rafael, I guess that is like a keychain. Judy, is that like a cookie? Oh yeah, that's a cookie. Okay, very nice. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. So Mauricio has some uh, um, toothpaste. What is that, Rafael? Oh, a highlighter, a highlighter. Okay, what else do we have, guys? What, okay. I see some black pepper, okay. Your cell phone, cell phones are not permitted, guys. <laughs> we talk about Samsung all night long, so <laughs> go and get a candy or something. Helen, what is that? <laughs> I cannot see what Helen has. Es como un... Desinfectante, pero se usa bucal. Oh, like a mouthwash. Oh, I thought it was shampoo. So that would be like a mouth, mouthwash. Okay. So that's a mouthwash. A racket. Oh, for the mosquitoes, right, Rafael? Okay. Judy, is that a potato? What is that bread? 
is mango. <laughs> oh my God. How did you get mangoes, Miss? Okay. Okay, guys, what are we going to do with the products that you have in front of the camera? We are going to talk about them, but we are going to use furthermore, we are going to use in addition, we are going to use these words that we just practiced. So remember we have in, we have also, we have in addition, uh, we have furthermore to give more ideas about the product, furthermore. Uh, if you want to use but, or if you want to use however, there is no problem. Solo recordemos que son ideas completas, right? Um, for example, here next to me, no, no la van a ver because I have the filter. Um, okay, so I have here like an eyeliner. I don't know if you will see that. Um, so I'm going to talk about the eyeliner as many things, you know, as I can say about it, but I need to use these words furthermore. Uh, so um, I really like this eyeliner. This is Max Factor. And I think it's one of the best I have tried because uh, it is long lasting. Uh, furthermore, it is waterproof so I can apply it. And if I cry, if I go to a swimming pool, I will not get a stain. So the product doesn't stay on my cheeks. Um, and uh, I really like the color. I like the texture too. I think it, the texture is good. It is affordable. And uh, uh, in addition to that, um, I think that it is one of the best products that uh, Max Factor has. Ta -da! That's it. So. Pretty much, guys, vamos a improvisar. We're going to improvise. Remember, try to use furthermore. Try to use and. Try to use also. But vamos a hacerlo sin parar. We're going to do it nonstop. As soon as you finish the first product, guys, vamos con el segundo. So you go with the second product. And you go with the third product. So as much as we can. Um, because of the time and because I really want you to practice as much as possible, I'm going to send you just one more time to the groups so you can practice. And uh, to, 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 yeah, we're gonna go in the same groups. And then guys, I have an activity for you tomorrow. So please practice as much as you can. Guys, we have like seven minutes, seven, 10 minutes to practice as much as you can. So enjoy it. Bueno, yo, y un producto era, ¿verdad? Los cinco tenemos que describir, teacher. Yes. Los cinco de cada uno o... o yes, five o products. No, I mean, uh, what products do you have? So, for example, uh, tell me, I think I saw... Oh, I know, that have, was <laughs> What do you have? Have oral rehydration, mm -hmm. thought, thought paste. Okay, so you have some toothpaste, toothbrush, banana, a and, banana. <laughs> okay, and toilet paper. Very nice. Okay, yeah, there's five products, but this is going to be non stop, right? So give us all the information you can about the products that you have in your hands. Um, so yes, son los cinco, it's five products. Okay. And remember to use N also in addition, furthermore, right? Um, with all the products. So, al menos cinco cosas de cada producto. You gotta give us at least five sentences uh, for each product. Mm -hmm. Guys, who is first? Okay, hagamos lo siguiente, let's do the following para que puedan ir pensando because it's a lot of products. So let's go with the first person, right? Luego cambiamos, then we change. Luego vamos con la siguiente persona and so forth and so forth. So un producto al, mismo, al tiempo. One product at a time para que sea más fácil. Y puedan pensar en eso, right? And you can think uh, in that. In the meantime. So Helen, yo sé que está lista, Helen. Let's go with you. No, teacher. <laughs> 
How was it this time? We're going to improvise. Oh, tell me, tenía la banana. So you have the banana. Let's start with the banana. I have I have two banana, but I like too much. And and our mud in my house. Furthermore, Further in addition, uh -huh. Furthermore, more, I, I made, I made in the morning, mm -hmm. uh, my son, or, or, for the desayuno. Breakfast? Breakfast. Okay, four. Una más, one more. Um, you can do it. And I made smoothies and charamuscas for my family. Very nice. I don't know how to say charamusca either. <laughs> that was a very nice description, Delmi. Very good job. Like full sentences, they made sense. Muy buen uso de conectores. Very good job. Ya ven, si puede hacerlo. You can do it. Delmi, ¿quién es el siguiente? Who's next? Rafa. Okay, Rafa, you go with the next one. Let's go with you. And then vamos un producto a la vez para que, you know, sea más fácil. So it can be easier. Okay, teacher. <laughs> what is your product? Oh, the, the racket. Racket, okay. Uh, the mosquito killer racket, racket is very effective. In addition, uh, it has it has uh, a lamp okay. that that helps you in the dark. Um, also, I like when it crash crash when killer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Too much. Mm, furthermore. Uh, recargable, recharge, mm -hmm. batteries, mm -hmm. in addition, um, ahorros, mm -hmm. ahorra batería, battery, en mm -hmm. gasto. Okay, you can save mm -hmm. some money. Okay. Um, Five, right? No, but I think you said five sentences. That was a very nice one. That, that was a very good description. I like that you mentioned all the characteristics of the <laughs> mosquito killer racket. <laughs> and I didn't expect you to say the, the crash crash thingy. <laughs> so you like listening to the noise. Okay, very nice. Rafael, who's next? I have Iris, Margarita, and Helen. Hola. Hola. Creo que se me cortó Rafael, lo perdimos. Rafa, Rafa. Guys, me escuchan, can you hear me? Yes. 